In this video, I'll show you how to create a structure block from scratch and use that structure block to export a three-dimensional object from Minecraft Education Edition. Structure blocks are unique as that they're not available in the Minecraft inventory, so I'll need to use a command in order to give myself a structure block. I'll hit the slash key on my keyboard and type in the word give to execute the give command. I want to give this structure block to myself. I want to search for the word structure block until I find it. And again, just like other videos, once you've narrowed this down, you can use the tab key on your keyboard to complete this part of the command. Instead of one structure block, maybe I want to give myself five. And now what you can see is in the number one slot in my hotbar, I now have five structure blocks available to me. I'm going to walk over here to a structure block that's been placed and ready to go in the ground because the object that I want to try to grab is this schoolhouse that's right here in front of me. When I right click on the structure block, you'll see I have zeros on almost all the coordinates except for the Y for offset. So let's experiment with these numbers and see what happens to the object I'm trying to grab. The X axis is lateral. The Z axis is difference around me, and the Y axis is height. So when I put a value in all three of these, I have a 20 by 20 by 20 space right here available to me. But let's say I don't want all this dirt and grass next to the schoolhouse, I just want to get the house. So let me experiment by removing some of these Z values and see if that helps. Well, I've noticed that I've backed off a little bit on Z right here, but I still have this dirt and grass in my way. So let me try and narrow down the X axis. So you see there how I've gotten rid of almost all the dirt and grass that's in my way. I'm also going to narrow down this Y axis, but notice that if I do that too much, I've chopped off some of the roof of this schoolhouse. So let me go back and aim for maybe 15 or so. That looks like pretty much all of it. If I want to include some of the ground, I can actually use this offset. Offset changes the starting point for this 3D export. So if I make the Y instead of 1, let me make it something like negative 3. You'll actually be able to see what's going on underground. Or if I made it negative 10, I could dig even deeper and go all the way down into stone. In this case, I'm going to leave the Y at 0 because I want just a little bit of the ground to show what's going on with the grass underneath this building. Now that I'm done, I'll go ahead and name my structure block School. I'll scroll down here on the left and click on Export, and I'll wait for a moment as it generates the model. Remember that as you export a structure block, you can use these GLB files across a variety of apps in Windows 10, like Paint 3D, Mixed Reality Viewer, and 3D Builder.